Hello and welcome. Today I got some pretty good spring cleaning in store. Tackled a few neglected areas as well as the common ones. We have been bunkering down at home and I'm utilizing this time getting some of this stuff clean as I'm sure many of you are as well. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. My name is Melissa here at Intentful Spaces and I make plenty of cleaning motivation with new videos weekly. I'm also over there on Instagram every day and you can follow me there as well. I have just recently hit 10,000 subscribers here on my channel and am so excited to do a giveaway with you all that will be coming soon so make sure you are subscribed to not miss out on that. And I'm just starting in the kitchen here as I normally do to get the ball rolling then getting to some of the extras. Now I've moved on upstairs and I'm going to go ahead and change these air filters and vacuum out the vents to get all that dust off. I seriously find it so satisfying to see things get clean and I share a lot of before and after tap to clean type things like this over in my stories on Instagram so if you find this sort of thing satisfying as well come take a look at what I'm sharing over there. I am not doing too much upstairs here but I did want to clean up this landing area at the top of the stairs before I start deep cleaning the stairway. We have been remodeling the two bathrooms upstairs and there's a lot of dust that comes with that and the stairway has definitely been an area that a lot of that has been landing. So I'm just using some of this method wood for good and just an inexpensive microfiber towel and going around and polishing the entire banister and then I'm going to be vacuuming the whole stairway with the wand attachment just to make sure I get in all those cracks and all the little pet hair that likes to stay stuck in them.
With everything going on, the whole family has been spending a lot of time at home. So my teenage daughter is standing at the bottom of the stairs and we are just chatting while I'm working on this. So that was about as far as I got with the cleaning on day one. So now it is a day two and I am starting things off here in the laundry room. It needs a lot of work in here. A mess has just been piling up. There's a bunch of laundry and then also all of these baby items that Jax has outgrown. He just recently turned a year old. So I'm going to get this stuff put in a pile and it's going to be getting put away. And here he is climbing around in his little car seat. It's so crazy seeing how much bigger he is in there now. And then I'm going to go ahead and just get some laundry going because every day is laundry day. Because it is another day, I am going to be making a quick pass here in the kitchen just to get things squared away before I get going with some of the deeper cleaning. I do remove the runner from the table whenever we sit down as a family to eat dinner in here, but it does still, however, get very dirty. So I'm pulling that off and going to throw it in the washing machine to get that clean and then just using some of that method wood for good to give the table and chairs a good polishing. Thank you. 
One of my problem areas in the house is the top of the fridge. I tend to stick a lot of little clutter up there, so I'm just going to go ahead and clear that off and then use the e-cloth scrubber to clean the top of the fridge and get all of the little paint splatters that happened on top from when the painters just did the interior. And this thing worked brilliantly at getting all those little speckles of paint off and all of the dust and grime that tends to accumulate up there. So now I'm just using the e-cloth microfiber towel just to wipe it off and get it nice and shiny. We live in Phoenix, Arizona, and we never see much rain, but since the new year, we've been getting so much of it, it's insane. So we are all cooped up in the house and dad is just using the yoga swing here to rock the babies because everyone's getting a little restless. And now back at it with the fridge. I am using the e-cloth microfiber towel and the polishing cloth to get the stainless steel nice and clean. I have been using this method to clean it for many years. Um, I have tried another brand, but these ones are super affordable and work really, really well. And I ordered a four pack, I believe, a four pack of both the microfiber towels and the polishing cloths because I like to clean with this style of cleaning so much in so many areas of the house that I wanted multiple sets that I can keep in different places and they work so wonderfully on the stainless steel as well as many other tasks around the house. I will throw a link for these in the description box for you and I also keep a lot of the stuff that I use around the house and listed in my Amazon shop which there is also always a link in the description box. You can click that and go right to one space that has all the things that I like to give links for in one area. So if you're ever interested in anything that I show here in my home, you can go there and see if it's linked. And if it is not, just leave me a message and I'll do my best to find it and link it there for you. If you've been with me for a while, you know how much my kids are always in my videos. And on this day, Daddy happened to be home, so he is doing his best to keep them back so that I can get some work done. And here I'm just trying to remove a little bit of stubborn paint that is stuck on the handle there. And one tip I have, if you ever have paint on anything that you need to get off, a little bit of essential oil works really great for that. So now I am pulling the tray out of the microwave so that I can hand wash that. And I had just heated up some water for about a minute in the microwave to steam all of the mess that's going on in there so that it'll just easily wipe off. And I'm just using that same e-cloth microfiber towel. Giving you a close up to see how messy the microwave is and how easily it's all wiping off after being steamed with this e-cloth towel. Next up is the vent here on the front of the refrigerator. It is by far the dirtiest thing in the entire house. This thing has gotten so gross and I didn't realize how bad it had gotten until the painters were here and they had to move it and then I was able to see all of the grime that was under the fridge but also made me notice the vent itself. So I'm just going to put a little bit of dish soap and hot water in this bowl and using that same e-cloth scrubber and going to get to work on this. The painter's wife was here with him working on some of the interior paint and she was kind enough to have wiped up and cleaned up the floor under the fridge when it was slid out when it was all exposed and really bad but there was this one section that had overlapped and did not get clean. So I'm just trying to get as far under there as I can without having to pull the whole fridge out. The vent I just got tired of trying to scrub there while it was still attached and I felt like I needed to remove it to get some of what was behind it. So I went ahead and just popped it right off and took it over to the kitchen sink to clean there and just going to kind of wipe out what I can get to easily from this angle.
And that is looking so much better now. Like I said, I had not realized how bad it had gotten. So now I'm just moving on over here to the living room and just going to do a quick tidy of the toys and move some of these bigger items out of the way because after five years, we have finally decided on an area rug for this space. So I'm going to roll up the tiny rug I picked up at Target that the kids have been using to play on. And then I want to fish all of the toys out from under the sofa that have slid under there. So just using that e-cloth mop dry to do that. And then just going to do a quick surface wipe with the dry mop just to kind of get some of the dog hair gathered up before I mop in here. So retrieving all the toys and getting those put back where they need to go. And then I am wetting the microfiber mop pad so that I can clean the floors in there and then just going to lightly wring it out just to get the excess off. And this style of mop will clean with just water and water alone and disinfects. I have been mopping with this style of mop for many years, but I wanted another mop pad and this e-cloth brand had a very affordable option. So I did not hit record when I mopped it, but here it is. It looks something like that when I did. And then bringing in the giant rug gonna have my husband cut the plastic off of that so we can roll it out and this ended up being quite an ordeal getting it into place but we did and I love it I am very happy with our choice I have been pricing area rugs for quite a while now and just couldn't see spending that kind of money on a big rug for this space when we've got four kids two of them are very little and three pets and I just didn't want to worry about using the living room and the rug getting destroyed so I ended up finding this on Amazon and seriously if you've price rugs this is incredible because this 9 by 12 rug was only $260 and I am quite impressed with the quality and the appearance of it so we are very pleased with this purchase and I will link it in my Amazon shop if you guys are interested it is like an ivory and beige it says in the description but it's more of that like gray beige the grayish color and it matches the sofa perfectly so we ended up finally just taking the sofa apart and moving it out of the way because it was just proving to be impossible to get it in place otherwise so like I said this ended up being quite an ordeal this took quite a long time but I'm just giving you guys little quick clips of it here but we got it in place and I am very happy with it and so is the rest of the family. Just touched up the kitchen real quick and now I'm moving on to the rest of the floors. Going to use a broom and do a quick sweep like I do every single night and then going to mop it real quick with the e-cloth mop.
and here it is that fleeting moment of an after shot i got the living room and kitchen and the floors and everything all clean at the same time so i am going to just enjoy it while it lasts and remember to subscribe to my channel i have a giveaway coming up soon and would love to have you join me here also go follow me over on instagram at intentful spaces i share lots of cleaning motivation over there but you also get to see a lot of behind the scenes stuff and family type things there as well and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and I'd really appreciate it if you would share this video with somebody who you think would like it as well or share it in your Instagram stories when you're watching it really helps me out in my channel to grow when you guys are sharing my stuff so I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you all enjoyed this cleaning motivation. I had announced over on Instagram that I am changing up my posting a little bit. So I am holding off on the Friday flow videos for now and going to be giving you guys a mix of some other things. I just noticed that I left that bowl of popcorn seeds up there that Jillian was playing with. So I went ahead and took that down. But I am looking forward to sharing plenty more cleaning motivation with you all and taking more of your requests and the types of videos you guys want to see. So I'm just going to light that candle and call this video a wrap. So as always, thank you all so much for being here.